for you along with Jim Henrik in Madison, Indiana, where they take their hydroplane racing seriously. And there was a serious accident last night while testing. The U-40, driven by Scott Pierce, was going around the west turn when suddenly the skid fin and the left sponson caught, and it hooked, spinning around 180 degrees. You see the stern of the boat there. Scotty Pierce was thrown from the boat, suffering a fractured right arm and several bumps and bruises, but he'll be all right. We'll return to more racing in just a moment. Approaching. Let's go down to the pits now and check on some of the camps. First, Jim is at the Atlas camp. Jim. Jim, can I bother you just a second for our network television? Listen, you have to be pretty satisfied. That boat's really shown them the short way around the course. Well, yeah, we've had a couple of really good runs. The water conditions have been pretty good in our heats, and uh, we've been fortunate enough to break out in front, and uh, Chip's doing a good job just staying out of trouble. He's running the boat in good, clean water and letting it do its best. Okay, any strategy now for the final event? Now, of course, we're going to have to run against the Budweiser, which, of course, is a top boat in the fleet. And uh, we haven't run against them yet. We know that they've got good straightaway speed. They get through the slop well. I would expect that we'll probably run on the outside of them. We want to stay out of trouble. Okay, thank you very much. Speaking of the Budweiser right now, as we approach the final heat, our partner Don Foyer is down there with Bernie Little. Don? Jim, I'm over at the Budweiser camp, and let's see if I can get Bernie Little, the owner here. Bernie, can we bother you for a second? Yes, sir. Bernie, Jim Lacero says that he still feels the Budweiser is the boat to beat in the final. Well, I hope he's right. Uh, Miss Budweiser will be out there running. We run for first place always, and we, we, you know, that's just the way we are. There's some awful good boats uh, that are not going to be in this final heat that had mechanical problems, but Miss Budweiser will be there for the checker flag, if at all possible. This makes the start incredibly important for you, doesn't it? Yes, it does. We just put in a new engine, and uh, we have no excuses if we don't win. All right, let's go over to the Tosti Osti camp now. Steve Reynolds along with Jim Hendrick. Okay, Don, I've got... Both Danny Walters, the crew chief, and the driver, Steve Reynolds, with me right now. They're talking. Let me see if I can interrupt. Excuse me, Steve, can I interrupt just a second? What are you guys talking about? Uh, uh, we're talking about the braking system. If you haven't noticed, you know, that the brake hasn't held. And, and I feel so sorry for Danny because it gets started and the boat takes off and he's madly grabbing the, the uh, cable and trying to jump off. I'm afraid one of these times I'm going to come around the first turn, he's still going to be there. Danny, <laughs> is he right, Dan? <laughs> well, no, I'll hop off before that. <laughs> and coming up... The first Atlas Van Lines Budweiser encounter of 1984. Hanauer against Kropfeld. Coming up in Madison. This. Here's the lineup now for the climax of today's racing. The final heat. The Atlas Van Lines and the Budweiser with 800 apiece. Followed by the Renault, the Tosti Osti with Steve Reynolds, and the Carl Yarlick with 352 points. The officials for today's racing, Mr. Paul McKee is the chief referee, and here are the gentlemen working with him. In the helicopter, Mike Noonan, Fred Alder, the pit boss, and the driver's rep, Gene Whip. Also in the turns, Bob Newman, Bill Noonan, and Jack Meyer, and Lee Shanath assisting on the stand. And now our five-boat final is about to begin as they come underneath the Madison-Milton Bridge. Here we come with the final of the day. You see the Tosti Osti, the Miss Renault on the inside. There's the Carl Yarling, but where's the Atlas and the Budweiser? The way back for the start. Heading for the west turn, there comes the blue boat, the Atlas Van Lines, and on the outside, the Budweiser. You can hear the Griffin engine rumble as they go into that west turn. Let's see how they shape up coming out of the turn now. The first turn here on lap number one in the final. The Budweiser coming out first, but on the inside, here comes the Atlas Van Lines with Chip Van Auer, the turbine-powered brand-new boat, going deck to deck with the Budweiser. The Bud, the Atlas, the Atlas on top going down the back chute. Look at the acceleration by that turbine-powered brand-new boat built and designed by Jim Lucero. The Atlas Van Lines, first place, second place to the Budweiser, but look at Jim Cropwell coming around on the outside. The water flying, more than four tons of water coming up from the skid paint on those rooster tails. Great job of cornering, however, by Jim Van Hour and that very, very light and very powerful turbine-powered Atlas Van Lines. Look at the speed of this, the new Atlas Van Lines. Let's check his speed. It is 129.328, a new course record, beating this boat's old record of 128.205 miles per hour in competition. 
the Budweiser, Jim Cropfeld in second place. The Atlas Band Lines literally running away from the field in this new boat. Chip Hanauer, he has never won here at Madison, Indiana. Would like nothing better than to win the Indiana Governor's Cup, and he's in good shape to do so now. Remember now, Jim Cropfeld talked about trying to push the Atlas Band Lines, possibly forcing it to break. We'll see if that happens, but right now, good race here now for second, check that third and fourth place between the Tostiasti and the Renault. But Chip Hanauer, smooth sailing as he goes down the back stretch, headed under the bridge, and will come around the east turn. The Budweiser in second place, and in control right now of that spot, could pick up another 300 points, and in fact would move in to the number one spot for the national point standing if he can get a second place today. A little rough and tumble there for the Atlas Van Lines coming around that east turn, but boy, that boat rides so exceptionally well over these choppy waters on the Ohio River. The Atlas Van Lines, Chip Hanauer, his first possible victory right in front of him now in the Indiana Governor's Cup, if he can hold on to this lead for a few more laps. The second lap, identical speed for the, for the uh, Atlas Van Lines at 129.328 miles per hour. Coming up on the outside now, trying to threaten the Budweiser, it appears, is the Tostiasti with Steve Reynolds. Remember, that's the old pay back boat. It's the backup boat now for the Tostiasti. I don't know if Cropfeld can see him coming up. There's the distance between first and second place, Bill. The Atlas Van Line really moving along well. And there's the Tostiasti moving up on the Budweiser. Steve Reynolds trying to sneak up on Jim Cropfeld. In the back of the pack is the Carl Yarlake with Jerry Hopp picking up some more valuable points. In his second straight final, the Atlas Van Line rumbling around about to pass Jerry Hopp in that older boat. The Budweiser in second place, and Steve Reynolds, the Tostiasti, in third place as he keeps sneaking up. Yes, you can see him behind the rooster tail of the Budweiser. Here comes the Atlas Van Line now completing a lap, another lap. Here's the Budweiser. Look at the Tostiasti coming on the outside. Steve Reynolds. That skid fit digging in as he comes around in lane number two. The Budweiser inside. Cropfeld with the position trying to swing wide, I would imagine, as he comes down the main chute now. A great deck-to-deck -deck race. The turban against the Griffin here as well. Jim Cropfeld out of Cincinnati, Ohio, trying to keep Steve Reynolds on his outside hip. If he can finish in second place here in the final, as we said earlier, that would catapult the Budweiser into number one in the national point standing. They would surpass the uh, Squire shop, which did not make the final. But there you see a straightaway lead for the Atlas Van Lines in the opposite corner of the Budweiser. Chip Hanauer never has won here at Madison, Indiana, but he has done it today. A brand new boat, a new style of power. Chip Hanauer, Jim Lucero, the Atlas Van Lines team, a winner in Madison, Indiana. Second place to the Budweiser, another 300 points, and the National Point standings lead. Jim Cropfeld in the Budweiser. And third place, what a day for Steve Reynolds in the Tostiasti. So at day's end, here's how they stand. The Atlas Van Lines and Chip Hanauer getting their first victory in Madison. The Budweiser in second place, the Tostiasti with their backup boat coming in number three. Milner Irvin and the Renault, fourth place, and fifth place to the Miss Carl Yarling and driver, Jerry Hopp. We'll return with a visit with the victorious driver, co-owner, and team manager right after this timeout. Don Poyer along with Jim Hendrick again here in Madison, Indiana. And despite a second place finish today, the Budweiser now leaps into first place in the national high point standings. The Union Bay Squire Shop, which was first, now drops to second. Speedy Printing drops at one notch. Chet's Music still in fourth place. The Renault in fifth, moving up a notch. The Executone Telephones, then the Tostiasti with a good performance today. Atlas Van Lines catching its stride, the U-20 and the U-40. And now to the victors. Here's Jim Hendrick. Don, down here in the winner's circle, there's Bedlam, but a happy driver, of course. First time victory in 1984. You put it all together, Chip. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. It's been a long dry spell this winter. And now this guy right here, he put it all together for you. He worked very hard, and I believe he's a successful boat builder, engine man, name it, Jim Lucero. Thanks, Jim. I, I can't say enough about our crew. You know, the, the wings started to fall after the first heat. Uh, we had to change the rudder, make a bunch of other changes. We ran the same engine all day. I mean, what more can I say about the crew? They did a great job. And your co-partner here has got to be very happy, Fran Muncy, for the Muncy Racing Team. Fran? Oh, I sure am. I'm so proud of Chip and so proud of Jim Lucero and his design and the crew. They just did a beautiful job. There you have happy comments from a happy team, from owners 
crews and drivers. And maybe a new era, as the turban has showed them, it can take them the short way around the course. Now, Don, back up to you to close it. All right, Jim, thank you very much. And what a day it has been here for the Indiana Governor's Cup in Madison, Indiana. An absolutely dominating, thrilling performance by the new Atlas Van Lines at Chip Hanover, the driver. Our congratulations again to team manager, part owner, Jim Lucero, the designer and builder of the boat, and of course, Fran Muncy of Muncy Racing Industries. Next stop on the Unlimited Hydroplane Tour for 1984 is Detroit. We'll be there next week. For Jim Hendrick, I'm Don Poyer. Thanks for joining us and so long.